So guys, in this video, we're gonna see how we can inverse or reverse this tree. So to do so, so, so first thing I'm gonna tell you is we're gonna use uh, source index to do so and offset addresses. But the next video, we're gonna do it in a different way. So let's do it first. So I'm gonna initialize data segment here. Data. Let's name the string msgdb. So I hope you have already know how to declare a uh, string. Let's say university. University. So say and where we're not using a dollar sign at the end of it. So we're gonna use the uh, you access this string using uh, uh, using the called uh, source index. Okay. Let's start. Uh, first of all, initialize data segment here. Rate of data. I guess you already know it. Sorry, DSX. Okay. Now let's start. Now, firstly, you have to just put the offset address of the string into a source index. Okay. Now. Now we have to initialize the counter register CX by 11. So if you see how many characters are here, 3, 6, 9, 10. So we have to we have 10 characters and that's why we have to run it one times more, 11 times. Okay. So now we have to, so the basic idea is to just we have found the offset address of this. If we add, it's basically just suppose the offset address of u is one. If we add uh, nine with it, so we'll indicate we'll point to the offset address of y. And then if we just decrease, decrement it and print it, it's gonna be reversed, reversely print. So the basic idea we are using here, we're using add. So we have to add uh, 11 here, so sorry, 10 here with the segment. First, when we put uh, this line, we're putting the offset address of the message into source called index, and that the source index was pointing to you, towards you. Now, when you're adding 10 with it, it's pointing towards y. So now we have to print from y to u using loops and we're going to decrement the source index. So now use the loop top, say anything you want to name the loop, it doesn't matter. So you have to print it, let's say the print function h equal to and now move dx. So you want to print something you have to move that into dx and you have to use a uh, third bracket that means the address of the source index uh, that it total means the address of the source index and source index is 16 bit register so you have to use dx if you use dl it's going to show zero so so you have to each time it prints uh, a character we have to decrement the value of SI so DEC SI source index now we have to uh, write a con uh, condition to exit the loops otherwise it's gonna go run infinitely uh, compare SI with 0 if somehow source index is 0 then we will terminate the loop just exit otherwise loop will continue loop top let's see so oh, there is a problem all right it shows us nothing so let's have a look what is the problem so we haven't used the DOS return which is in 21H. 
So yeah, there was a bit of problem. So let's run it again. So now, let's run it. It shows in the reverse form. So that's how we can reverse the string. Or if you don't use this line, we're gonna uh, be able to print this university string without uh, using that uh, string function we did in the first couple of videos so okay well, thank you guys bye